Good afternoon. Taking a quick look here today at the Venlay Digital Multimeter. Assume, I mean, the E is backwards. Venlay, I'm not really 100% certain how you'd pronounce that, but doesn't really matter too much. It comes with a small but functional and usable user manual that explains all of the functions of the multimeter. You'll want to hang on to that because there's a couple of things that, you know, we need to uh, probably remember that aren't always self-evident right on the meter itself. The meter itself is a pretty nice looking unit. came with batteries that I put in it. You have four ports for various probes and such. Auto ranging, although you can manually set ranges as well. And... You have a magnet that you can use to help stick this to uh, metallic surfaces and a kickstand so that you can place it upright on a desk for easier reading. Other features include having a backlight for easier reading in the dark. And if you hold that for a moment, you get a pretty bright flashlight, which is no, nothing to... Nothing to, how do you turn it off? Hold it. There we go. And uh, yeah, what else is there? Auto off and ability to read DC current up to 20 amps and a non-contact voltage sensor. So that is down here. NCV. If I just grab an extension cord over here that happens to be live, I should get... There's no current passing through it, but it should show up here. Let me see. Had it for a second anyways. There we go. It's beeping to warn me that it's live. So that could be handy for working on household uh, types of things. Of course you can read voltages. Um, that's fairly trivial, but just for the sake of showing you the probes real quick. They are a pretty standard type of set. Get some protective covers. No slide-on alligator clips, which I would have liked, but that's all right. Just insert those like so. And you can readily test the voltage of, like the DC voltage of this lithium battery here. This is one of those scenarios where the kickstand would probably come in handy. So that you can better see voltage of the battery. Fairly, fairly typical multimeter use type of thing. I'll probably overlay this video with a couple images of some of the other testing that I've done with it. Um, a different feature that I'm pretty excited about is the temperature probe. So you just press function to switch between Fahrenheit, Celsius, Fahrenheit. Um, I'm not sure where it's getting that reading from. It might have an internal sensor, possibly, but they do include this external probe, so that goes in the same two spots there. And then that reading takes over from whatever sensor it was using previously, so maybe just a little over 70 degrees ambient temperature here at the desk. If I put my fingers over the probe, of course the temperature starts to come up. Uh, since my body is warmer than the ambient air, I'll probably throw a picture on here of some how I was using this to test a uh, heated coffee pad or coffee warmer. So pretty nice for uh, doing little temperature tests like that. And apparently there's a built-in sensor of some sort. It seems to be getting a reading. You can also test continuity and 
uh, resistance. They include a couple of extra fuses in the box here. If you overload, you know, one of these slots here when you're reading AC or DC current, then you'd blow a little fuse inside, but they actually give you a couple of spares, which is very much appreciated. Uh, there are a couple of slots here where you can sort of stow the probes. You know, I suppose you'd put them with their protective cover on, something like that. If you're like me, you virtually never use that sort of thing, but there is molds there for the probes. Oh, and I forgot to mention this little hanging slot, so you can hang it, magnet, kickstand, slots for the probes. Uh, really pretty nice overall. Um, you know, I won't go through all the other functions, but I'm pretty happy with this. I like the backlight feature and the kickstand, and, uh, you know, I don't know if this is the world's most accurate meter. I don't really have any way to tell, but I'm sure it's close enough for my average home tinkering, hobby work, automotive work, and all of that sort of thing. So, overall, for what you get, temperature sensor, set of probes, extra fuses, the user manual is pretty well written. Um, small text, but it's pretty easy to see how to use the various features and which ones need, you know, the function, like I showed, changing between Fahrenheit and Celsius. It's all in the manual, so, uh, plus the specs and the ranges that it can do. Everything you need right there. I would definitely recommend this to a uh, fellow hobbyist or someone who uh, just needs something for around the house. I don't own a, a high-end brand meter for for just doing little things. These types of things always seem to work well for me, but this is the nicest one that I own now at this point between the backlight, temperature probe, non-contact, voltage uh, detection, and then doing pretty much all the other things my other meters do. Uh, this one's probably going to be my go-to meter now. So that uh, hopefully helps, and I'd say yes, I recommend this multimeter.